if you are watching this video from north america or europe and like the smell of nutmeg chances are you have eaten granada's nutmeg let's explore this isle of spice granada is a caribbean country part of the lesser antilles archipelago its territories include bigger island granada and two smaller inhabited islands caricu and petite martinique and several uninhabited small islands north of the main island granada it is located between trinidad and tobago and saint vincent and the grenadines christopher columbus named the island la concepcion year later other explorers named it mayo when french came in they called it la grenade finally when british took over they called it Granada interesting the island had at least four names that we know of but i don't know what is the carib or arawak name for this island the total area of the island is only 348 square kilometers it is the second smallest country in the caribbean and the 11th smallest country in the world population is about 113000 it is the fifth least populous country in the caribbean and the 16th least in the world the main island granada is divided into six parishes and the island carico and petite martinique are two dependent entities capital is saint georges it is one of the most prettiest port towns in the caribbean official currency is eastern caribbean dollar it is equal to about 35 us cents if you are planning to visit granada check out these places granada have some of the amazing beaches as you would expect in a caribbean island country grand ans top the list it is one of the most best and popular beaches in the caribbean the grand tang national park offers some of the fantastic hiking trails with rainforest scenery the famous itang lake is the most popular spot the molanea underwater sculpture park is one of the world first it has over 65 human sculptures in the ocean you can view them by scuba diving snorkeling or even from the glass bottom boats if you are a history buff visit fort george or fort frederick it was built in the early 18th century or stop by granada's national museum if you are a foodie or even if you are not go for a spice tour and tasting sampling a fragrant spice is one of the most unique activity you could do in granada granada earned its name as an island of spice because they grow lots of nutmeg maize cinnamon cloves vanilla and cocoa granada is so proud of their nutmeg it even earned a spot on their flag speaking of flag let's go check it out this is granada's flag the green color symbolizes island's vegetation and agriculture industry yellow is for sun warm and wisdom of the people red represent harmony unity courage and vitality although the color scheme of the flag represent pan africanist movement the actual inspiration for the flag is ethiopia's flag as it is the oldest independent country in africa and one of the only country other than liberia to maintain its independence the seven yellow stars symbolize the original seven administrative divisions of granada see the nutmeg represent the primary agricultural export this is the coat of arms with lots of symbolism the ship santa maria at the center of the shield represent granada was first sighted by christopher columbus and continued linkage with yachting and tourism the gold cross represent the god blessing on the island the lions represent strength unswearing determination courage and resourcefulness the madonna lily resting on the crescent was inspired by moilo's famous painting immaculate conception it indicates that granada is dedicated to mary of the immaculate conception shield is placed in a valley between the two mountains representing the spectacular topography of the island the lake below the shield represent the grand atang lake the cone banana tree 
nutmeg and all the other fruits represented in the coda palm represent the traditional agricultural economy on top of the star is a royal helm a golden helmet a star on the helm symbolizes hope aspiration and ideals of the country the seven roses represent the original seven administrative divisions two sprays of bougainvillea are national flowers the two supporters holding the shield are armadillo and the granada dove they represent the island wildlife granada's motto ever conscious of god we aspire build and advance as one people placed on a ribbon at the bottom now it's time to look at the land let's go check out Granada is a volcanic island with ridges of mountain running from north to south. The landscape ranges from mountainous rainforest to dry lowlands to coastal mangroves. The highest point is Mount St. Catherine at 840 meters above sea level. Several short streams flow down from the mountains and supply all the towns and most villages with clean water. The largest lake is Grand Etang. It covers about 36 acres in the crater of an ancient volcano at the elevation of 530 meters. Kerakou is the largest and most populated island in the Grenadine archipelago. Kerakou is renowned for its boat building industry. Traditional boat building methods are still in practice. Kerakou is home to some of these gingerbread houses. Petite Martinique is a charming tiny inhabited island. Weddings are quite extraordinary and steep in tradition. They raise usually a red flag at the bride's groom and the immediate relatives homes. Then they start the bake and include a parade and the whole village at least most people in the village come together help and celebrate the cup up. Climate is tropical with steady and cooling trade winds. Colder months are between November and February. Dry season is between January and May, while the rain season is from June to December. Grenada is not in the hurricane belt. It doesn't mean Grenada get lucky and doesn't get hit. Hurricane Ivan in 2004 killed 39 people and devastated over 90 percentage of the island history the island early history is very similar to the other windward islands arawak indians settled on the island between 200 and 400 ad few centuries later between 800 and 1000 caribs came into the island and overtook arawaks christopher columbus was first sighted the island in 1498 english tried to settle the island in 1609 but carib fought them off french tried to do the same thing in 1638 and caribs fought them off too in 1650 frenchman jack parkier purchased the island and signed a treaty with caribs and established a settlement but within months conflict broke between the caribs and the french communities and it lasted until 1654 when french conquered the island the caribs who survived either left the island or retreated to more remote part of the island even though french settled on the island british had claim on the island so british gained the island in the treaty of paris in 1763 during the american revolution in 1779 british was busy fighting america so french captured the island but it was restored back to british rule by treaty of versailles in 1783 african slaves were brought into work on the plantation in 1833 granada became part of the British Windward Island Administration. Slavery was abolished in 1834 and slaves are freed in 1838. People from Malta came to work in the plantation in 1839. 1843 is the year nutmeg was planted 
in the island. Portuguese immigrant came to work in the plantation in 1846 and then the East Indian immigrant came looking for work in 1857. In 1877, Granada became a British crown colony. Granada joined the West Indies Federation in 1958. In 1967, Granada gained full autonomy over its internal affairs as an associated state and led the way for independence finally on february 7th 1974 granada gained independence from britain with eric gerry as first prime minister and opted to remain a commonwealth couple of years after the independence civil conflict broke and grew into a major coup granada was taken over by Marxist communist in 1983 6 days later US and Caribbean forces entered the island the following year granada was able to have an election and the democracy reinstated so this continues to this day without any interruption in politics people and culture a majority of grenadians about 82 percentage of them are descendants of enslaved african Mixed descent account for about 13 percentage. East Indian descent constitute 2 percentage of the population. A small community of French and English descents as well as other nationalists account for about 3 percentage. Few indigenous Caribs and Arawaks survive the colonization and still live in the island. English is the official language, but main spoken language is an English Creole. few people mainly the older generation speak french patois majority of the grenadians are christians mostly presbyterians grenadian culture is influenced by british african west indian and french cultures and these cultures has left a strong influence in the folklore dialect music and general way of living french and english influence can still be seen in their surnames names of the village and local dialect and architecture african heritage is deeply rooted in grenadian music dance festival soca calypso steel pan and dj music all part of everyday life festivals and carnivals are way of life for people to come together and celebrate some of the most popular festivals include granada's Spice Jazz Festival, Christmas, Rainbow City Festival, St. Patrick's Day Festival, Fisherman's Day Festivals, St. Mark's Day Festival and Maroon Festival. An important aspect of Grenadian culture is storytelling. Folklore are based on both African and French influence. Food plays an important role in Granada's culture. Oil down is the national dish where the meat is cooked in coconut milk until the milk turn into coconut oil at the bottom of the pot. The economy. Granada's economy is relatively diversified with several sectors contributing to its GDP of 1.8 billion. In the past agriculture was dominated and earned most foreign exchange even though agriculture has lost its dominance it is still a major pillar of economy and make up the large portion of granada's goods export granada's agricultural export include spices such as nutmeg and maize other crops are cocoa sava soap citrus fruits cloves and cinnamon Granada also exported large amount of fish especially yellowfin tuna to United States and Europe since the mid 90s economy shifted to service with tourism construction transport and private education being the leading contributor to the GDP these four sectors combined account for 50 percentage of the gdp there is also a small scale manufacturing including production of beverages flour and other food stuff textile and animal feed granada's organic chocolate is gaining popularity and caribbean journal magazine in 2017 named granada as the caribbean's 
capital of chocolate. Main trading partners are United States, UK, European Union, Canada, other Caribbean countries, particularly Trinidad and Tobago. River at One Rum Distillery is the oldest functioning water propelled distillery in the Caribbean. It has been producing rum since 1785. Grenada is one of the amazing countries in the Caribbean. If you are living in Grenada, say hello to me. Put it in a comment. I would love to hear from you. I would like to learn more about the island from you directly. If you have been to Grenada, let me know what you think of this country and include anything that I missed in the comment so we can all learn. If you are planning to go to Grenada in the future, don't forget to check out few of the attractions I mentioned before and don't forget to eat the chocolate and have some rum. Next I will explore Trinidad and Tobago with you. After that it's going to be Bahamas. So Bahamas is going to be my last country in the Caribbean I believe. After that I'll be moving to South America. So I'm already excited for it but I'm also kind of sad at leaving the Caribbean islands. I have get to know these islands for the past, past few months and fall in love with the region all over again and I can't wait to go back. If you are watching this, you must like learning about other countries. So please give me a thumbs up to this video and subscribe to my channel so we can explore every single country in the world. Thank you for watching. We will meet again in the next video.